Hey everybody, Coach Casey Halstead here. Today I want to talk about having the right intent when you come to training. I This week I came in on Friday morning at 6 a.m. and I noticed that most of the people that train at 6 a.m. come in with a different kind of focus than the ones that come in at 11 a.m. I think it has a lot to do with their making adjustments in their everyday life in order to accommodate the early morning training session. Years ago I used to train my MMA fighters at 8 o'clock in the morning and they would always come in like super focused and ready to go because in order to get up early and get to the gym and have these training sessions you have to make a lot of decisions uh, in order for that to happen so you don't want to waste the training session since you made a lot of sacrifices to get there so one of the things that that brought up like in my mind was uh, making sure that we can utilize every training session that way so I want to just talk about intent and some things that you can do to help your training session so first and foremost you know, you need to leave your ego at the door. The ego is going to be the worst thing for your jujitsu. You know, a you're going to be uh, you're going to be less likely to try a new technique because your ego is like, oh, if I try this, this guy's going to catch me, or I'm not that good at it, I'm going to fail at it. You know, so you're going to want to like hold positions, and you'll be less likely to really like try and put yourself out into uh, some experimental ground. So I would say, get rid of the ego, leave it outside, come in here. Be ready to get tapped, be ready to learn, and you're gonna see that your jujitsu is gonna start going through the roof. The second thing is be prepared to learn. You know, a lot of people bring things into the gym with them, not only just their ego, but they bring stress from work, stress from family, stress from bills. And uh, when the instructor's teaching the technique, sometimes you start thinking about taxes and this and that relationships. So a, a real good thing is before you come in, just kind of like take a deep breath at the front door, right where you leave your ego. I want you to leave your stress and everything and just come in with the intent to learn. No preconceived notions, none of this. Just whatever the instructor's teaching, just open mind, empty mind, and just learn the technique. You'll find more often than not that you'll be able to utilize that technique at some point in your career. The third thing is just be prepared, you know? so. Uh, I have a 15 year old daughter. She's been training since she was four years old. Her name is Krabby Abby. And in her bag, she's got tape, she's got a mouthpiece, she's got all her gear. And so like, I can tell when people come in and they're, they don't have their things together. They're like, hey coach, you got tape, hey, I need this, you got, you know. And that's all distractions, you know. So before you come, make sure you pack your bag. You should have some water, you should have your mouthpiece, your cup, a couple, you know, I carry, multiple training gears so like no matter where I'm at if someone's like hey let's get a roll I'm like okay I got some in my trunk so you should always have like a bunch of fresh shorts and rash guards in your car ready to go that way you're never caught off guard tape that way if you lose a fingernail or break a finger while you're rolling you can just tape it up and keep on going you know there's no sense in losing mat time because you're not prepared um, and then be Raul here in Las Vegas, I have a student, and something that we've been talking about a lot lately is uh, I notice because I'm an instructor and I'm always watching, and uh, I notice that there's a lot of guys that when the round's over, they're sitting there like, hey, roll with me, and everybody's avoiding them like the plague, and that's because prob more than likely, it's probably the ego getting in the way. You know, they're a little too aggressive, a little too stiff, and they, you know, where we have this guy, Raul, everybody wants to go with him. Like, I've got a hurt neck. Today, I was like, hey, Raul, like, give me a round because I know he's not gonna hurt me. He's good at jujitsu, he's really good at jujitsu, and his jujitsu's come a long way, but it's because he has no ego. He taps quick, he doesn't care about tapping you. If he feels like he's got a neck crank on you, he's gonna let it go and he's gonna try to sink it into a real choke. You know, and everyone wants to roll with him. From my 15 year old daughter to the 64 year old man, everybody's trying to roll with Raul. So I think if you use any, if you use any combination of these four, you know, leave your ego at the door, be prepared to learn, leave all the stress outside, uh, be prepared with your gear, and then also just being a good training partner, you're gonna see a lot of tremendous growth in your jujitsu. I hope this helped you guys. Uh, have a great day, be excellent, peace.